Hello, Scorpio couples. How are you guys? I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice or seeing me wrapped in my little sheet, and you're watching my channel. Um, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me if you're new. And if you're a returning Scorpio couple, welcome back, baby. I hope all is well. <clears throat> I am here to do a love read for you guys. This is general. So know that um it is not personal, so everything won't resonate. It might be for another Scorpion. Or their mate. So take what resonates, throw the rest away. It is a timeless read. So Spirit wants you to know whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it, right? Okay. And um, to book me for a personal read or cash at me, a donation, it is in the description box or on my freaking page. I hope all is well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So I was getting this download right now. I was loading Scorpio single. Single. I can't even say single. Single. Anyway. <laughs> And when I was, uh, I'm uploading that video right now as I'm recording for you guys, because I'm on a roll right now. I got to keep it pumping. So my daughter just reminded me, because she's a little magician. She's a little uh, tarot card reader in the making, little psychic little person. Um, she tells me today is the port. I, I had just said I had like a Michael J. Fox Back to the Future um, doc moment. I just felt it like in my spirit. I don't know. It was really weird. I just felt like a, like a Back to the Future moment and um, the whole little movie moment. And I was like telling her that. And I was like, it's like, I just said it. Matter of fact, I think I said it in the Scorpio single video. So you go back and watch it. And I said, and she was like, when I just stopped the video, she's like, mama, today is 19, 2021. Today is the, the 19th, the year 2021. So it's order. It's that's 19, 2021, which means the portals are open. So that means the, 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 the deceased can come back this way, you know, or, you know, you might even, if you are a person that dream a lot telepathically, you might dream. And go to your future, go back to your past. That's what we do over here. This house dreams a lot. But anyhow, let's get back into the readings. I'm not trying to talk to y'all. Scorpio couples. Okay. Spirit guides, my archangel, higher power. I need you to come in and bless this reading, bless my words, encourage me, help me keep it real. Um, help me to encourage another Scorpio couple. Help me give them guidance, higher power. But this is all about you. Without you, we are nothing. So I ask that you come in and you help us out today. Bless us on this beautiful day, spirit, spirit guides, higher power, ancestors, Mike, Archangel, Angels, Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel. I ask that you come in and give me messages, ethers, messages, please, for Scorpio couples. I was also hearing, um, uh, 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 Aaliyah, uh, let me know. Um, at, at your best, you I love your positive, motivating voice within my life. If you ever feel the need, you know the worst. Let me know. Let me know. that. Yeah, let me know. It's stuck in my head. So I don't know who that's for. Um, somebody's, either you or your mate know that you are a positive, motivating force in their life. Or either that's what you feel about your mate. And it's like um, someone saying you don't have to worry. So I don't know if that's you saying that to them. But let's, let's get into this. Because that, that's what I'm getting. If you play your cards right, because the song's still playing. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I'm going to pull cards, two cards to get confirmation on that. You got free yourself. The time has come to, to take back control of your life, Scorpio couples. <clears throat> Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Let go of control issues. Allow your situation to unfold naturally, Scorpio couples. With three, four, five on the clock. Bottom of the deck, you got romantic feelings. You are, your feelings are real and they're worth fucking exploring. Scorpio couples. All right, so let go, let go. Why is trust here for Scorpio couples? Spirit, give me two card confirmation of why trust is here for my Scorpio couples, please, Spirit. Scorpio couples, Spirit. Why is trust here? Ooh. Seven of Swords. Ah. This issue is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so Seven of Swords is, ooh, someone was cheating in this situation. Off back, off barrel. They've been lying. They've been cheating. They've been stealing. They've been hiding money from you. Okay, scheming, plotting, spying for some of you. Some of you feel like you got you to gotta, you gotta spy on this person. Okay, because they've been deceiving you. They've been lying. So that's a trust issue. They're a liar. Some you got, oh, you got the moon here too with the seven of swords. Okay, in the back. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The seven of swords is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay, and like I said, you got the moon in the back. The moon is definitely some type of deception or some type of illusion someone was suffering in this relationship. 
or some type with five and you got five on the clock, this is about crisis, conflict, and chaos going on right now, okay? I feel like um, somebody had you or your mate in competition with another person. Maybe somebody was competing for a spot they feel like they already had. This is instabilities, okay? This shit wasn't stable. Either y'all finances, y'all crib ain't stable, y'all money ain't stable, something ain't stable, y'all love ain't stable, okay? Some type of, something's going on in this relationship. The connection may not be stable right now. The Six of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is someone letting go of the past. So I feel like someone is lied in the past and they want the mate to forgive them. Either flip it how it go. Either you want them, but somebody wants you to let go of the past or you want them to let go of the past. Okay. They might have lied or cheated, but just like focus on the future. I feel like now you guys, you guys are trying to resolve some issues, but there are some things that still haven't come out. This is um, someone might have left the home or being stuck and bored and cheating. This is growing up. Okay, someone needs to grow up. And this is also um, with 555 on the clock. Now this situation calls for therapy. Okay, therapy and counseling. <clears throat> the seven of pentacles is um, someone being at a crossroads and questioning and evaluating, did I make the right decision? With six, nine o'clock, should I stay? Should I go? Virgo towards Capricorn energy. Okay, trying to be patient with the results uh, and, you know, the rewards, the payout. Trying to nurture a situation. Someone's trying to nurture this relationship back to health, good health. This is crossroads, uh, reviewing things, questioning, and planning. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay. Y'all can need therapy now because of some shit that went on. Lies and infidelity. Someone hiding money, too. I'm definitely picking up someone hiding. Either you or your spouse. Somebody don't keep it real about how much money they got in this situation. Shit. This is a relationship. Free yourself. Scorpio couples. Why is free yourself here for Scorpio couples? Can't take all in spirit, but I would definitely take the ones that fell on the flow. Three of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here you go. So maybe you guys came back together and you like, okay, for some of y'all, or you in a relationship and y'all had some trust issues. And y'all like, oh, we're going to seek counseling. We're going to pray. We're going to do this. You know, we're going to do certain things. Now, I don't know if the person, one party is more serious than the other one, or the other one wants to hold on to this pain, because that's what I'm picking up. I feel like somebody wants to hold on to this grief and pain, and the other person really wants to move forward, but the other person, like, you still a low-down, dirty dog, whether it's man or woman, like, you still a hoe, you still a bullshit, you still a liar, you still a manipulator, you still a narcissist, motherfucker, okay? You got, um, free yourself, okay? So it's like, the three of pentacles is here, and so is the four of wands. Somebody really wants wanted this you this could be twin flame soulmate energy for some of you somebody or it could just be happy family it don't mean you know take it as it resonates but the three of pentacles is definitely um lack of uh not learning from their mistakes okay and someone is still lacking commitment okay someone's trying to unveil secrets because there's some deception going on in this connection with the moon here this is scorpio pisces cancer energy there's something hidden here with the moon there's some unveiling of secrets that need to come out and i feel like um with the four of wands okay leo sagittarius aries energy this is like um, someone's lacking, um, the, the lack of commitment is why the happy family is not coming. And this, this is why someone's emotions are upside upside down. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's usually the feminine in the, in the ugh, it's usually the feminine person in the relationship. Someone's emotions is upside down about their family because someone wasn't committed. They might have cheated with third party with the three of pentacles. Lack, had, that could have been a mistake. This is lack of commitment, which means they was out there doing them, not learning from mistakes. Yeah. And now they was out there freeing themselves. And they weren't supposed to be, okay? Yeah, I got nine of swords that I picked up my deck, okay? And now this is, this is a breakdown. Somebody's having night terrors. They focus on the past and it keep coming up. I feel like in this this situation, y'all might have got back together or y'all trying to start something or whatever. And somebody's past just keep coming up, okay? With a nine on the clock and a nine of swords, this is definitely some, yeah, anxiety and fear. They definitely in mental fog. Either you or your mate, oh, definitely thinking about some shit. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, okay? Romantic feelings. My goofy ass got the cards. Hold on, y'all. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. All right. Romantic feelings. Why is romantic feelings here for Scorpio? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. Why is romantic feelings here for Scorpio? Please. Romantic feelings. Spirit. Two cards. Why is romantic feelings here for Scorpio couples? Romantic feelings. Give me two cards, spirit. Okay, you got the oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Y'all into it with y'all, mate. Y'all beefing over some money. 
Okay, either you feel like your mate is all about the money, or either they feel like you all about the money. You got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is Virgo towards Capricorn. You like ain't no love here. This is all about money. And the Ten of Cups is here. This is like a broken family. And somebody's still talking about divorce, or they started back talking about divorce. So this is about a breakup, conflict, neglect. Okay. Somebody could have been keeping up with the appearances, but there's some social services involved, child protective services. Okay, for some of you, this is uh yeah, with romantic feelings, I feel like ain't no romance that y'all got serious shit going on. Family secrets and issues. That's why these cards are here. Dysfunctional family, the ten of cups in reverse. And definitely a money hungry person in this in this situation. And somebody very emotionally immature with the page of cups jumping out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And somebody's definitely very child minded in this connection. Okay, don't know how to apologize. Wanting to win and be victorious, but not knowing how to do that. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Okay? Okay, baby. Yeah, it's a lot going on in this reading for you guys. Let's go to Paige, this immature person with emotion. I don't know if it's you or your person. I hope I'm not offending anyone. I meant to tell y'all I swear at the beginning of this read. All right, separation. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see what's going on. Because it looks like y'all need some therapy. Y'all need to separate. Somebody's stingy. Somebody was cheating. It's a lot going on. A lot of different messages, Scorpio. Lots of different messages, Scorpio. Woo! Somebody emotionally immature about this situation with 11.23 on the clock. Very emotionally childish. Emotions are like a kid. They're like a 19-year-old child, I heard. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Spirit is saying the last one. The last one. The last chance. The last chance. The la I can't sing. Let me shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Judgment is here doing the separation. Oh, yeah. Somebody like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Cool. We can separate. Yeah, because we keep arguing with the will of fortune in reverse. We keep disagreeing. We don't see eye to eye. Some of you could have been dealing with a karmic, you feel like, okay? You're like, I'm done with this shit. Leo, Leo Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio energy. The word in reverse is definitely having fallout, disagreement, and fuck you, fuck you, we need to separate. I ain't got to take this shit. You ain't got to take this, fuck you. Yeah, y'all going at it, baby. Judgment is here. Okay, somebody wanted forgiveness, and um, they it was some, somebody being decisive, making a snap decision. Somebody's making a snap decision to leave right now, okay? Yeah, somebody's making a snap decision to fucking leave, okay? Someone might have been homesick, but there's some self-evaluation and an awakening going on. Like, this shit is not, uh-uh, I need to be decisive and make a sharp decision. And the Queen of Wands is just the energy. It could be a man or a woman. This is something fiery and fast that's about to move. Like, I can't take this. I think either you or your person is very attractive in this situation with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, and it brings up issues, uh, you know, and I think doing this separation part, this, the Queen of Wands is here. Like I said, this is take, taking a... Uh, Taking chances, making changes. Somebody's very confident in this connection. Someone else isn't. Okay, that's the thing with the Queen of Wands. Someone's very confident and they made ain't. Okay, letting go of control issues was your last part. It was at the bottom of the deck. Allow your situation to unfold naturally, uh, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio couples. Let go of control issues. Woo, the King of Wands. They don't know how to let go of control issue. He got the you got the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. This is a a, a slick talking ass King of Wands. It's ruthless. He could be impulsive. This motherfucker break promises. He a womanizer and he a dictator and very bitter for some of you. Okay, this is someone wanting a fiery quick start with you or wanting to fix shit real fast and it didn't work out. So, yeah, they can't control the situation, so they feel some type of way. This is the masculine in the situation. Man or woman, I don't need this stuff. Take it. Has it resonate? It's the Ace of Wands. It's here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. They, they are completely upset about not being able to have this fresh start. They're like, oh, we ain't gonna move on from this shit. You wanna keep bringing this shit up? Huh, Wanda? That's the fuck you gonna do? <laughs> I'm outside, dog. Yeah, so you got... Because they made a fucked up decision with 14, 15 on the clock. They, they chose otherwise outside the connection. Either you or them, the Seven of Cups is here. And it's in reverse. This is reality check. Poor decisions. Avoiding issues. Feeling trapped now. This king of wands can feel trapped now. Any other messages for my Scorpio couples? I cannot sing. I don't know why I keep trying. Any other messages for my Scorpio couples, please, Spirit? Messages for Scorpio couples. Scorpio couples messages. The Eight of Cups. Leaving a bad situation. Someone's going to walk the fuck away. They reach a breaking point. They're withdrawing. They're like, I'm tired of this shit. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And they like, every time we get back together, we have money issues. Shit. We have money issues anyway with the Ace of Pentacles. All we do is beef over fucking money. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So for that reason, I don't want to be motherfucking bothered. Yeah, so I'm walking away because this is an unhappy. Look, Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer. I want a divorce. I want to break up. I'm tired of keeping up for appearances. Social services in our business. I'm tired of um, keeping secrets. I'm tired of family secrets. I'm tired of being dysfunctional with your motherfucking name. Look, money hungry again. You got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody definitely all about money in this connection. And it's time for separation. Yep. Emotionally immature. Don't want to move forward with the Sheridan in reverse. Okay. Ace of Swords is... Oh, I done bent my card. The Ace of Swords is don't want to apologize. Don't know how to apologize. Okay, no one ain't need to apologize. You deserve an apology, but motherfuckers ain't on that. Motherfuckers is not on that. They own this money, though. They own this shmoney, but not an apology, huh? Virgo towards Capricorn energy. All right, Scorpios. Couples, take this as it resonates, my babies. Um, I'm here if you need a person to read or to cash out your donation or to watch this over and over again. I'm sending you love and light. Don't forget, um, my email is in the description box, and so is my cash app in case you need me. I'm sending you guys love and light, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Till next time, Scorpio couples, you fucking rock. I'm out of here. Love and light. Bye.